What's up everyone, today I'm back with another video. Uh, I've made a video about this before, of how you can get 100k COT every 2-3 to three days, it did really good. But, as you see now from the new update, there is Tower of Dream now, and also they changed where Void Vortex and Realms Gate is a lot easier. So Void Vortex, everyone in Explorer could probably... Explorer is probably easy as Valiant, Pioneer is probably as easy as... Uh, I mean no, Explorer is probably as easy as Pioneer. And then Valiant is probably as easy as Explorer, and the Fire is probably as easy as Valiant now. So basically, if you're an Explorer, you can easily get uh, uh, Valiant, and then if you're in Valiant, you can probably easily get uh, the Fire, you know, etc. So, I got Valiant with just this setup here, as you can see. I just got two Void Heroes, I, I get about 10 million Stellar, and uh, I don't really have any, I don't even have one Punisher, I really don't have that many paid one artifacts, so... Yeah, it's really easy, even for people like this, who doesn't have, like, you don't really need paid one artifacts, you just need maybe some Void Heroes. I only got two, but uh, I got a good amount of Stellar. But yeah, uh, that's 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 a pretty good way right here, the Void Vortex, so make sure to push that if you have not already pushed that. Uh, it's not here, it's if you go here. If you go to Leaderboard, as you can see, I have Valiant VI, and I guess people have already got Vanquisher 2. I didn't know... Jesus is here, already got Vanquisher 2. I guess that must have just been last uh, Void Vortex. That's pretty insane. I guess Hossie got Vanquisher 3. can't believe he was already Vanquisher 2. Damn, bro, that's insane. Super high. But uh, they did that at the Vanquisher, so that's a lot of extra rewards. And it does give this stuff, so if you don't have Vanquisher, definitely try to get it if you can, at least VI. But uh, yeah, as you can see, Valiant VI here, 16k. And 28k stellar that's the base rewards and if you get an explorer 22k and 12k cot so the difference is not not super insane but it's still a difference and any difference is good because of course you get more stuff and more stuff is always better so that there adds you a good maybe let's say 4k cot every like maybe like one or two times a week so that gives you a bit Let's say that gives you like extra maybe like 20k stellar every month. I mean not stellar, 20k COT. It does give you a lot more stellar also. But there is another way you can get a lot more stellar now just because of that update. I mean COT. So yeah, that probably bumps you up to like 120k from uh, one to two to three days. So that's pretty cool. I'm just making this to update my last guide because they, like I said, they changed it and they made it a lot easier. But the rewards are still the same, as I can show you from here. I'm on VC46. I think whenever I was farming before this update, I was on VC41. But uh, I've been killing the bosses to move this VC up so I can still go higher, I'm pretty sure. So let's actually go fight someone real quick. And you can see from here, 377. Whenever I was farming on VC41, I think I was getting 362 COT and a bit less stellar. I should be able to beat this first try. Yep, because the update make it really easy. And as you can see from that, I get 377 C COT. And yeah, I'm only on Void Corruption 46. I'm pretty sure I win all of these. Hopefully I don't lose any here. I've, I've, I've been winning like all of them. I think I lost like maybe one or two of the dark ones just because of bad RNG, but I'm pretty much pretty good here. I'm just pushing through, yeah. But you're getting uh, extra... I think I could honestly go to Void Corruption like 50 something. To be totally honest, I could probably get up to like 52, 53 for like the easy ones. For the dark wave, I'm gonna have to put it down to maybe like 40, or like 42, or 43, just so I beat it in my first try. But uh, everything else is pretty easy. So honestly, uh, if I you know maxed out as high as I could, like I'd probably beat this on like 55, maybe probably, and that'd probably be 400 uh, COT. So let's just say you're getting extra 20 or 30 COT every battle now that you can go up. A lot in the VC so I've actually seen though if you're like void corruption 20 or lower if you raise your COT it doesn't really change that much for the difficulty level so I'm guessing it's only for people that are like above maybe like 30 or 40 uh, I'm not too sure 40 40 is really not that high the average player probably has around 40 but uh, it also gives you more stellar but if you're getting extra 20 30 COT every battle and you get about 16 K COT every level like not le every level like as you can see le level five to five so every level you get about 16k and this last one you get about 30k uh you're gonna be getting an extra 
maybe two two to let's say maybe two to three k more uh, cot every wave which adds up a lot in two days from me pro probably passing one or two levels maybe even three so that could add up to a good 150k uh, cot every two to three days i uh i think i did it where i put i got 400k cot july 27th it's now august 1st i was at 400k and now it's like I said, it's August 1st, so it's been four days, and in four days I've went from 400k COT all the way up to 659k, so that's 259k COT in four days. So I'm betting tomorrow, after I uh, clear level 5 here, and clear a bit more, I'll probably be at 700k, so in about five days I've got, let's see, 400, 500, 600, 300k COT in five days. So it's not four days, but it's it's pretty close. If you, uh, like I said, I'm not maxed out totally on my void corruption. I can go a bit higher too, and I've actually been losing energy because some of the boss fights at the end are kind of hard to do on max corruption, but you you want to do it anyway to get your thing up, but because you're in the long run you're gonna actually get more cot than you're uh, wasting with the energy. But uh, yeah, let's just I'll say 150k cot every two to three days, which is really good. My guildmate account, uh, my guildmate's account too. I've been doing his void for him. He was at like four point two million cot just like four or five days ago, and he's already at four point four million. He's gonna get a void here pretty soon, and we will make a video on that also. But uh, yeah, I think the last thing there really is to show. Oh look, all the scaviers. Nothing's really changed on this to be honest. But if you get a void arc here. As you can see, the leaderboards, whatever, I'm really not ranked that high, but it's kind of because I only have 75s compared to people who have 15 E5s. I mean, they have a lot more stellar too. I can't really... 20k is a decent number for my server, and I'm not too high of a VIP. Also, VIP 7 is not too high. But of course, if you do a Void Arc, I don't know if everyone's maximizing this, but for me to maximize it, all you need to do, you don't want to max this out, you just want to upgrade it maybe to like level, I don't want to say, say level two or three is a good like, you know, thing. I might upgrade it one more after this, to be honest, just so I can progress through these things a bit faster. But as you can see, your highest void person. So basically I have my SFX. Oop, let me zoom out a little bit here. I have my SFX and Starving Jar in right here. And she's V3 and my SFX is V3. So as you can see, you're getting this plus 80%, so you, and this plus 70%, plus 80%, so you're getting a lot of extra of the Nova Crystals, same with this, so you're going to put your max Void Hero, or your max like imprinted Hero here, so like V3, or V4, whatever you have, but whenever this ends here, it says 14 minutes, I get my next collector, I'm honestly just going to wait for tomorrow, uh, it should add up all the way to uh, 3 before tomorrow, and I'll honestly try to do this one, this one, and this one, I'll honestly probably just do 2, because if I do two, I can put in both my V3 heroes, because then after that I only have V1s, and I'll just wait another day and just put more V3 heroes in. But you get my point. And over time, what I've bought is the COT, Stellar, this, and this. Uh, there's actually a guide on, uh, I don't know if you guys have watched Idle Doiler, but he likes to save up to one, one million of these things, and then buy out the whole shop. That is a really good idea, but because you can max out this, this, and this, so it's actually really, it's actually really smart, but I don't do that just because I just, I don't optimize it fully, and this thing actually here at the end is actually pretty good, I'm not gonna lie, 750 Nova Crystals for a million, it's not bad actually, huh, nah, it's decent, I wouldn't buy this though to be honest, but if you save up to I think a mil 1.2 million or 1,234,000, you can actually uh, get everything, including the cores, this, this, and all the other stuff. I think it doesn't include, like, the eggs or whatever, but it's kind of a guide on how to do it on his account. I haven't really made a guide for Void Arc. I'm just kind of putting in this one. But yeah, I buy the COT, Stellar, this to upgrade my, uh, my uh, egg, and also sometimes uh, I'll probably start buying this later on the road, but I don't really need it now because I can't really upgrade my pens because I don't even have the evolution materials. I always buy this at the beginning. I did buy out almost all of these. And then I here I got the COT, Stellar, and this. And yeah, I'll probably just buy these two here. Maybe buy some of these or these. And then I'll go into the next one and start buying COT and Stellar also. 
but yeah, yeah that's kind of how i do it on here and then once i max out this i just go to the next thing if i can so i try to save enough of these to go to the next map it's pretty easy all you really need is a nine star ignis for uh so you can actually be cc immune and nine star ignis does fine i just put it behind my sfx and the void boss is pretty simple uh anything after like four or five though or anything after like five or six anything after like four or five that was for right the first time is kind of hard though so you kind of have to better better optimize team with the right artifacts right heroes but yeah you know you get it you can look up guides for that but i just kind of want to update this guide of how you know you get you know i'm sure a lot of people are already getting 150k cot every two to three days i mean i'm sure but if you don't know about the new update you know where they make void arg a lot easier and realms gate then you're still getting maybe 100k cot every two to three days and if you're free to play maybe like 60k or 80k so i want to update this to you know tell everyone make sure to push your realms gate up as high vc as you can before you start losing make sure you still beat it every, like one try though for the bosses and everything else if you need to lower your vc definitely do it but uh void arc i mean not void arc void arc hasn't really changed i was just you know running that over again like i did last time you know kind of talking about it a little bit but uh void vortex i mean definitely go from say you're at uh forerunner definitely get pioneer if you're a pioneer definitely go to explore if you're explorer definitely go to valiant same with valiant to fire same with defire to vanquisher but uh everyone should be able to go up one and void vortex and that'll actually help out a lot this is actually a really big thing with the new update what i thought they meant is with realms gate they were going to make it so you could go up really high uh, void corruption but they like decreased the rewards but the rewards are still the same it's just gotten even better because it's easier and you're getting more resources so I don't know if this how they meant to do it, but if they did, that's really good. Because instead of people getting Void Heroes in four to five months with like monthly cards and buying one core every day, you're going to be getting it every like three months to four months. And it just cuts off a month and a half to two months just because of that little extra bonuses. So definitely optimize that if you have not already. And yeah, guys, it's kind of it for this guide. Uh, also, don't forget if you do want to get uh, 150k COT every two to three days, definitely be buying one core a day. I have like no gems. I do have the monthly cards, so that kind of helps me out. But even if you're free to play, you can buy like one core every like one to two days. This isn't you know you know perfect for like a uh, free to play because you obviously can't buy one core a day. But I've done 291 and I'm only VIP seven, and I'm not even that high in VIP seven. I'm exactly VIP seven, so. Yeah, make sure you just buy one core a day if you can. If you can buy a core, definitely get it. I was still able to get all the mysterious chests because I had a lot of gems. So I just bought them all out for the extra monster stuff so I could actually max my third monster, which I'll have that max pretty soon. I'm actually surprised how high I have these things. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If this helped you out and you did enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're actually really close to 1200 subs make sure to like the video too so other people can see this if this did help you out and also go join the discord the link will be in the description and the comment sections if you haven't already joined and yeah guys thanks for watching the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out